you guys welcome back so today I have a Dollar Tree haul it's a variety of things they have so many new items at my Dollar Tree I'm super excited to share these with you if you haven't already checked out my walkthroughs make sure you do so because you will see more items in my walkthrough than you will on my hauls um, I like to just say that just because I may buy one thing, but they may have four different ones at the store. So I want to make sure you guys can see everything that they have. Um, but I'm super excited to bring this haul to you guys. I want to welcome all of you who are new. I want to say thank you to all of you who are returning. I have been noticing the growth on my channel and I'm super excited and I feel very blessed for each and every one of you guys that takes time out to hang out with me. Um, so yeah, so I hope that my videos are bringing some joy into your day and some happiness. I know life can get kind of overwhelming and hectic and heavy. So I hope that this is a place where you can come to just kind of forget about the world around us. You know what I mean? And just enjoy and see what Dollar Tree has for us and Timu and just, I don't know, hang out for a little bit. All right, so the first thing I'm going to share with you guys, I saw that they had a collection of four of these. It was on an end cap, but they are these little tulip jewelry trinket tray or trinket boxes. Now they had this turquoise one, they had a really pretty purple and pink, and they also had a white one. I just love this. It is made of ceramic, but look at how nice that is. It is a pretty decent size. I mean, it's the size of my palm but I thought it was really nice. So I went ahead and I grabbed that. Down the food aisle, I don't know if you guys have checked out your food sections at your Dollar Tree, but you will be surprised in some of the items that you can find there. Now, I don't think that I've seen these before. Maybe I have and I've just kind of not thought twice about them, but I saw that they had packs of like pre-packaged flavored tuna. Now this one is by Bumblebee. It's wild caught tuna seasoned with jalapeno. It has so much protein packed in this little tiny container. This would be perfect for a snack if you're on the run. If you go to work, this is something that you could just bring. And um, I personally would eat this on like a tostada shell or something like that. Um, I would just put it on the tostada shell, maybe add hot sauce to it and eat it that way. But I saw this one and they also have the chicken of the sea wild caught light tuna. And this is the sweet and spicy. Now I thought of just how it has it here at the bottom, how they just have little lettuce, lettuce bowls. You can do like butter lettuce. That is so good to eat as a lettuce wrap. The only thing is it's, it gets messy. So be prepared. Don't get frustrated. <laughs> It could be messy, but um, I wanted to try this. So I'm hoping that I like those. Also down the food aisle, since we're there already, I think this is the only other thing that I got from the food aisle and it is this Columbia spaghetti pasta. This comes with 25% more, you guys. This is super heavy for $1.25. I thought that that was a great deal and I forgot to put this in my grocery order. So I picked it up from the Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree is always a great place to go if you're like in a pinch or if you're already going to be there, you know, to grab things that you've forgotten. So the next thing I picked up, I was down the Crafter Square aisle. If you guys are new here, that is one of my favorite aisles. I'm a junk journaler. I love crafting. I do a lot of things with the kids and it's just my place. Okay. So in my fabric section, I noticed that they had these two new fabrics and they're so pretty. It's like a eyelet type material it has like the little holes in it i only saw the yellow and pink i'm gonna open one of them because i want to open the actual fabric up to see it as a bigger piece of fabric i think it's always easier to see it like that but look at how pretty this is so if you do any type of crafting sewing anything look i think you could use this for anything you guys I'm gonna use it in junk journaling, but I love it. And the colors just are kind of like happy colors. You know what I mean? That makes sense. They're happy colors to me. So I went ahead and picked that up. Also down the crafter square aisle, I saw that they had these new sewing doll kits. I saw them previously, but they had a new one and I had to get it. It's this cute little panda bear and everything you need is in the kit. So I picked this one up and I also saw a new crochet set and this looks like a little, is this a bear? I don't know if this is a bear, it kind of looks like a bear, but I thought that it was cute. 
And again, it comes with everything you need in this little pack. Perfect for gift giving. Okay, down the sock aisle. You guys, I love Dollar Tree socks. I literally own, I think all of my socks are from Dollar Tree. But I went ahead and picked up four packs of these. I got two of the white and two of the black. I love these socks. They are super comfortable. They have enough like breathable fabric in it, if that makes sense. They come to your ankles, perfect when you're wearing tennies and leggings or tennies and joggers, anything. Um, but these are by Juncture and I, I wear a size nine in shoes. So when I get the women's, it seems a little snug. It kind of pulls down a little bit, but this is the men's size six to 12 and these fit perfect. Cause I don't like my socks being tight. It kind of makes my feet feel crazy. All right, down the hardware aisle, I found these little cable ties. They're by E Circuit. It comes with three pieces. So it has a white, a gray, and a black. And I thought that these would be perfect for my drawer where I have like my blow dryer and my straightener and my waver and like all of my hair, um, you know, electrical accessories, electrical <laughs> accessories. I don't even know. You guys know what I'm saying, but these are perfect to roll up those cords and just kind of loop this around it to hold it together. So your drawer is not a complete mess. I can also use this in one of my carts where I have my hot gun and everything and my hot glue guns and stuff like that for my crafting. So I went ahead and picked this up. It was again down like where your hardware items are, light bulbs, cell phone accessories, kind of like down that aisle. I mean, if your guys' stores are the same as mine. Okay, another, oh, I skipped over these with the socks. I saw that they had these Nickelodeon Garfield socks. Oh my gosh, you guys, tell me these are not adorable. My grandmother loved Garfield. I'm talking she loved him. So I remember watching this with her. And then now my daughter loves Garfield. So yeah, got those for her. I thought that they were super cute. They are men's size, but who cares? All right, another thing I picked up. So this was down where you find like your office supply stuff, your pens, your pencils, your notepads, paper, stuff like that. It is a stationary set by Jot. Now they came out with something very similar. I mean, it was the exact same thing, but the stationary sets look different. But they had these years ago. I remember picking a few up years ago. Um, I think before COVID by a couple of years. I don't remember. Um, but it comes with this really cool little green pouch. You could definitely use this for crafting, keeping stuff organized. But in it, it comes with four pieces of cute little stationary paper. It is lined. And then it comes with your four little envelopes. But they're, they're just your typical envelopes here. And then it also comes with two cards, which are really cute as well. They match the um the stationary paper so i thought that these were cute and you guys already know what i'm going to say this is for my junk journaling but you can definitely use these to write cute letters to people if you like to write your kids letters or you know something like that so i went ahead and grabbed this they had several different designs and patterns, but you'll have to watch my walkthrough to see the other ones because I only picked this one up. Another thing I picked up down the food section is just this, who is this by? Jack's Lynx Original. It's a beef stick. It's for my daughter. She likes those things. Then down where the bath supplies are, where you find your sponges and stuff like that, I went ahead and picked up one of these water bottles, our water bottle it broke it just stopped spraying correctly so i went ahead and picked up this one i really liked the color it's like that pretty rose gold color it just has a regular black sprayer here they also had the pump spray but i like this one better so i did i got this this is to help me do my son's hair when it's dry and crazy you know bedhead so you have to like spray it and restyle it my hair's poking out right there all right what's next oh right in front of me so i saw that they had these new wire trays i don't remember seeing these colors really pretty mint or pistachio green and then this gray color i remember seeing the gold but these colors are new to me they also had two other colors what colors were they black 
black and pink or black and blue i don't remember i also picked up down the beauty section or beauty aisle they had this is by bi which is beauty intuition i've been seeing some new things come from their line and this is an eyeshadow palette it's the peachy nudes i think that these are so pretty not sure how they work and how they blend but i just love these natural looking colors i think that they're really pretty another thing that i picked up from what is it from the beauty aisle what did i do with it let me find it oh right here i picked up this but this is also by beauty intuition and it is a mascara it says big plump lashes smudge proof instant plump and curl that's what i need you guys because my eyelashes are really short this is it has no animal testing on it and this is in the color black this had different packaging i think there was like green and blue and maybe purple but i think they were all black the only difference i was seeing is the way the brush looked like they had the curved brush and the straight brush so i think that that was the only difference but i'm not 100 percent sure so another thing I went ahead and picked up, it was kind of near that aisle. Our nail stuff is near the beauty aisle. And I love doing my nails. You guys know if you've been around my channel that I am constantly doing my nails. So I saw that they had new packs of the Pretty Woman um, faux nails. And I just went ahead and picked up two of these. This was the only style they had in, in this packaging. So I went ahead and grabbed two and i believe that these are actually from five below i mean they have five dollar stickers on here but if i remember correctly i remember seeing this packaging at five below so i went ahead and picked those up i also saw that be pure came out with new nails and this is the chrome stiletto nails i picked up two of these as well now with these they only come with 12 the other ones came with 24 i don't know if i said that but these only come with 12 and so i always get two packs of these because in one pack they don't have the right size nails for all of my nails so i have to get two to make that work if that makes sense so if you pick those up maybe just grab two just in case 250 is still a great deal for nails. When I was purchasing the Kiss brand on Amazon and on walmart.com, I mean, I would spend up to like $8 sometimes on one pack of nails. And that's crazy to me. <laughs> that's crazy. All right, so I went down the cleaning supply aisle. I hadn't really been seeing new items down there, but I was so excited because I'm starting to see new things rolling out. And one of the things I saw was this downy rinse and refresh. It says three times odor power, breaks down residues, rinses away odors, and freshness, freshens fabrics. <laughs> this is cool cotton and it's safe on all fabrics. Now it is a really small bottle, so I don't know if the deal was great because I have never seen this before, but I went ahead and picked up two of these. I wish I could see how it works, but I can't really see very good and I didn't grab my glasses, so. But I picked up those. Another cleaning thing that I saw that I had never seen there before, so let me know if these are items that you guys have been seeing at your Dollar Tree. But this is the dishwasher cleaner. It maximizes machine's performance. It fights mineral and lime scale deposits. It's in the lemon scent and it's six, uh, it has six tablets. Um, how cool is that? I am super excited to use this. Super excited. I know the little things that we get excited over as adults is just kind of mind blowing. <laughs> Um, another thing I picked up down the, like the teaching tree aisle where all the school supplies and stuff like that are, I saw that Eric Carl came out with the Very Hungry Caterpillar alphabet flashcards and number flashcards. It says that these are for three plus. Honestly, you guys can do these when your kids are one and two. You can start introducing these cards to them. I mean, obviously sit with them and go over them with them. Don't just leave it with them. But you guys, these are absolutely adorable. My son loves caterpillars, loves them. My sister had purchased one of the little caterpillar farms 
um, online for us. It was, I think right after COVID. So I think it was like 2020 or something when it was still going on, maybe 2021. I don't even remember, but we had to raise these little caterpillars to butterflies and it was, it was amazing. It was so cool. And he remembers it and that's where his love has just grown. But this is what these cards look like. It also has the number here just written on the back, but it has the picture on the front with the number and then again written on. I'm so sorry you guys, my camera died. I think I was still talking, I don't even know. But now we're gonna look at the alphabet ones. So we have A for ant and then on the back it has A. And then isn't that so adorable? Oh my gosh, I love these. I should have gotten more of these, but I just think that these are too cute. And I love the illustrations on them. They're really cool. So if you're getting them, you know, to help your kiddos learn the alphabet, or if you're getting them for other reasons, maybe you loved this book as a kid, or your kids loved it, or I don't know. You could probably do something crafting wise, even if you're not a junk journaler. People are so creative out there. I'm pretty sure someone could figure something out with those. They're so cute. All right, another thing I picked up that I had not seen at our Dollar Tree is these are Ultimate Gummy Bears. Albany's World, oh, Albany's World's Best ultimate gummy bears they come with eight flavors they're gluten-free fat-free low sodium these have two and a half ounces in each bag but what i loved about these is they do not have dyes in them so i went ahead and picked up them for my kids one each and then they also had true to fruit these are actually like made from fruit so no dyes in these as well anytime i see that you guys I'm super excited. They have Bing Cherry, White Peach, Strawberry, Conquer Grape, Banana, Mandarin, Orange, Watermelon, Honeycrisp, Apple, Red Raspberry, and Blueberry. It says, made with other natural flavors and colors from real fruits, vegetables, and super foods. So, telling you, you guys, if you guys can get your hands on stuff like this without dyes, I would definitely try to do that. Um, but, all right, another thing I picked up, okay. So I am in my 40s. Yep, I'm in my 40s. So it's time for me to start taking care of my skin. I'm starting to get older and I'm noticing the changes in my skin. Now I don't know how well this is gonna work, okay? It's very controversial with, uh, with you know, Dollar Tree products. <laughs> But when I see a dollar twenty-five on anything, I'm like, I need to try that and see for myself if it's good or not. So this is by Be Pure, and it's the Essentially Ageless um, Collection. This is Collagen Gentle Cream Cleanser with Macadamia and Jojoba Oils for the appearance of smoother, softer skin. So it came in a tube like this. The size is a four fluid ounce. And what's really exciting is not only did they have the cleanser, but they also had the moisturizer um, with niacinamide and vitamin E. And so it came in this little box here. Let's see what the actual tub looks like. Tub, tube, I don't know. You guys know what I'm saying. Oh my gosh, it's even in glass. That's kind of surprising because sometimes they'll make stuff in like the plastic. So that's nice that it's in glass. I want to smell it. It has a really like light scent. I don't, it's a sweet smell, not overpowering, but you guys, I mean, that looks really nice. So I'm actually excited to try this. I'm debating on when I'm going to try it. I use, um, oils on my face that's what i use for moisturizing like a mixture of oils but i wanted to try cream again so it says paraben free and pythophthalate how do you say that i don't remember but that it doesn't have those in it skin appears firmer rehydrates an even skin tone reduces appearance of wrinkles 
See, I need to start using that because I'm starting to get wrinkles. Okay, the other one I got is the night moisturizer. So not only do we have the moisturizer and the actual cleanser, but we are getting night cream, you guys. Um, it has niacinamide and hy hyaluronic acid. And it's, it's going to probably look like the same little tub, but we're just going to open it just for the fun of it if I can. So the lid is going to be blue for nighttime, but it is the same, you know, the same jar. That's what it is. It's a jar, you guys. Oh my gosh. Sometimes. And it smells pretty, it smells the same. It actually, it smells like cream. You know what I mean? Like that scent that they all put on cream. So I'm very excited about this. So I will let you all know what I think. Hopefully if I don't forget, because I'm forgetful. Um, what else? Another thing I got, this is for my son. It's a beginner learn to draw. He has been so into learning how to draw and this is on the pets edition. <laughs> so these are all of the animals that it shows how to draw. And these are actually really cool. I've gotten these for, um, my daughter, you know, previously, but for instance, here is the puppy. You can see here, there's a square for them to draw and then it's step by step here. So they're gonna draw and then they will have to erase some things. So maybe if you're sitting with them so you could kind of help instruct them as they're first learning how to do this. But he has been watching YouTube videos and learning how to draw that way. We also have some books like this already that he uses. Um, so that's been fun. Down the teaching tree aisle again are like the homeschooling or schooling at home type items. They have the wall borders. This has 12 pieces. I loved the colors in this. I thought that this would be fun to use in um, my junk journals. And I also picked up this one. I thought that that was a really cool color um, or not color, but like design. I feel like most of the time you find really bright, colorful, primary colored, or even just really brightly colored wall borders, which makes sense for, you know, for a classroom. But using these in a junk journal that look like this, that'll be fun. So to do a junk journal kind of like this theme, I don't know would be different. Okay, I'm almost done. I got some power stick deodorant for my husband, and then I got some placards kids for my kids. They like these, so I got them. I just throw them in here to share with you guys, just in case you didn't know that they have that stuff there. They do. Um, and then down the crafter square aisle, I found that they had these polymer clay beads. They come with 110 pieces in each. I'm hoping that I can string these on to some of the things for my junk journals. They are kind of smaller, but I'm hoping I can intertwine them with bigger beads as well. But these are the different colors that I went ahead and picked up. And the last thing I picked up, I pulled here. Oh, I have two things here. I'll show this. I actually have three things, you guys. So this is by Crafter Square. It comes with 10 pieces and they are stickers, but they're like wood. It's like a chipboard. Aren't those really cute? I don't think I've ever seen these at my Dollar Trees. So that is a new item for me. But I only saw this specific style. I didn't see any others that go in that collection, but there probably is. So you guys will probably see them. Then I went ahead and picked up some of this, what's it called, Rick Rack? I think it's Rick Rack ribbon in the purple. They always carry these around Easter, so I wanted to grab that. And the last thing I picked up, I have hauled here on my channel before plenty of times. It's by Crafter Square, and it is the multi-value pack of just different types of paper. This paper is awesome if you are a paper crafter because it comes with several different um, textures, colors. Let me share with you guys a couple of them if you guys wanna see them, if you're curious. Now for me, I always throw away the glitter one because it just, it's too glittery for me, you guys. And it has a lot of fallout, but see how it comes with this glitter? That is going directly in the garbage. Um, but like, look at this. It's like a faux leatherish type of texture. And then they have these pretty glitter, royal blue or navy blue, really beautiful. 
They have this like pistachio. This feels like um, recycled paper. It's textured. It's so, so nice. If you're a paper crafter, you understand the appreciation of the different textures and um, designs on these papers. Look at this one. This one's pretty cool. I haven't seen this one in one of them before, but it's like off cuts of paper that they've used for something maybe, and they're reusing it. Oh my gosh, this one is really cool. It has like embossing. You see the hearts? And it does have a little bit of glitter to it. This one's really pretty. It looks like some, so, some sort of stone or something like that. It does come with several. Comes with this. This is more just like a thick contact paper. Not contact construction. That's what it feels like. But the texture is really nice. And then it came with this little pink one. Texture again is really nice. And then the last little section here is this one purple and then the green and again this is really thick like cardstock textured paper it looks like homemade paper which is really cool because I don't have a lot of time to be making homemade paper I would love to I got a blender and everything to make my own paper and I just haven't done it all right so that is it you guys that is it for today's haul I hope you all enjoyed hanging out if you are not already subscribed, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Give me a like if you enjoyed hanging out with me today and leave me a comment. I always love to hear from you guys. So with all that being said, be safe, be blessed, and I hope to see you in the next one.